Well, good morning, families, kids, tune in. We've got a special message for you. You know, parents are wonderful go-to guys. They're the people that kids go to most when they've got a question, when they need help, or when something is wrong. Parents get asked for help from everything to where my orange striped socks are to how to make cereal. Well, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hold up two different people and give you a situation that you might need help with. And I want you to say out loud which person you would go to for help. All right, here we go. If you were sick, who would you go to? A doctor or a Cub Scout with a first aid badge? Come on, I know you can do better than that. Say it out loud, seriously, at home, right now. Ready? Who would you go to if you were sick? A doctor or a Cub Scout? All right, that's better. Who would you go to if you had a dinosaur bone to dig up? Your little sister with her beach pail or a paleontologist? If you were lost in space, would you go to a taxi driver or an astronaut? Who would you go to if your backpack was stolen? A petite grandma with a parasol or a police officer? Who would you go to, who would you call out to if you had to lift a car off your foot? A huge weightlifter or a rock star? Seriously, rock star? Okay. Who would you go to if it was late at night and everyone was asleep but you were awake and starting to feel worried? Your teddy bear or Jesus? How about both? I think you could hug your teddy bear and talk to Jesus at the same time. Who would you go to if you were mad, overwhelmed, confused, angry, or sad. You know, I've talked with a few kids this week who are really sad about not seeing their friends and disappointed that so many things are getting canceled and angry that this coronavirus has just messed everything out. And families are feeling stressed. You know, we often forget that Jesus is right here with us, wanting us to go to him in prayer about those things. You know, when we're in hard, lonely, impossible situations, Jesus wants us to run to him in prayer. And the thing is, when we ask God for his help, he sends help. Sometimes with just the person we think, other times in ways we don't expect, like when your little sister finds your backpack that you thought was stolen. God is our ultimate go-to guy. And in Psalm 121, verses 1 and 2, it says this, I lift my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, maker of heaven and earth. And so I'm going to give you guys a challenge. Families, parents, anybody watching can accept this challenge. I'm going to challenge you to make a prayer list. For the next two weeks, every day, I want you to take out your prayer list. It could be a piece of paper, a little journal that you make. And everybody in your family, write down one thing that they want to talk to God about. It could be about something you're feeling, about somebody else who's sick, or something else that you're frustrated about. Talk to God about those. Take those to Him and ask Him for help. And let's do that now. Heavenly Father, thanks for being our go-to God. Thank you for loving us, protecting us, guiding us, and rescuing us from the ultimate disease of sin. You are so good. And as these families talk to you about what's on their list, help them to grow in their trust and confidence in who you are. In Jesus' name, amen. 
And parents, for extended learning around this and in the coming weeks, we want to point you to peninsulabible.org slash pbfkids, and we'll have a link there to a new web page that we've created with all sorts of activities, a lesson plan for this morning to continue family church together, and lots of other resources.